how can audiences benefit from some of your biggest failures? And the answer to that question can be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. In the next two videos, I'm going to share stories about some failures I've had in speech contests years ago in Toastmasters. Why would I want to talk about those failures? Because the lessons I learned have been a tremendous benefit to all of my speech coaching clients, people outside of the world of Toastmasters, individuals who have to speak in the business world every day. The first lesson comes from my experience in 2003. I'm in Toronto, Canada. I'm one of eight competitors. If I win this contest, I get to go on to the final 10 speakers to compete for the World Championship of Public Speaking two months later. I'm introduced. I walk on stage. I begin my presentation. And about three minutes in, nothing. My mind was blank. 450 pairs of eyes were staring at me and I didn't know what to say next. In my head, this little voice said, get off stage, just, just run off. And the longer I stood there, the louder the voice got. All of a sudden, in the back of the room, I saw my two friends, Kay and Sandy, who had helped me so much getting ready for this speech. And I knew that no matter what I did, I had to stay there and finish, even if I had to make up things on the spot, which I did. To this day, I've never seen the video, don't need to. It was just one long extemporaneous speech at that point. I felt awful. Months of hard work down the drain because I forgot the speech. It wasn't until several days later, maybe two weeks, when I got past the disappointment that I realized why I hadn't done well, why I had frozen. In the weeks leading up to that competition, I had taken advice from every person who was willing to offer it. And at some point, I lost control of my speech. And what I mean is, it wasn't my main message anymore. Everybody had great ideas for them. It didn't add to my message. To this day, 16 years later, I can't even tell you what the speech was about. Don't remember the title. I've tried to forget it, but it was forgettable. That's the point. My takeaway, personally, was that I still had a great deal of insecurity and inferiority to deal with. I wasn't confident, even though I was at a high level of competition, I wasn't confident in my message or myself. It took me a few more years to gain that confidence to know that I had a message worth sharing and that people could benefit from it. My suggestion to you in this video is simply this. Trust yourself wherever you're speaking, not just a speech contest or Toastmasters, but any business meeting. You've been asked to step to the front of a room and talk for a reason. You have an expertise. You have knowledge that can benefit other people. You may remember from another tip that it's your perspective they want, not just your information. You've been asked to speak for a reason. Never forget that. Let that be the starting point of building your confidence about this particular talk. In tomorrow's video, you'll hear another contest story that occurred five years after the Toronto experience that gave me an all-new perspective on myself and my speaking. Talk to you then.